All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. We're playing some Starfield today. We're going to start a new character today. So yeah, it's going to be a fun game. Might as well play with some mods on, some creation stuff. Get in some trouble in Starfield. Bro, I'm... Yo, I really am addicted to Starfield, bro. It's, it's such a fun game right now, bro. For real. So anyway, let's get started with this. I'm going to do a new game this time around. <clears throat> up to 100% for my volume. Oh, I cracked my neck too. All right. Okay, thank God I don't have to start with the vanilla gameplay again. I hate that. All right, so where should we start? Should we start in Neon? Should we start in the Den? The Den wouldn't be a bad spot, but... Honestly, I think we should start in Neon. We should start there. Location number four, and the loadout will be the Neon Thug one, number four. I think we should be good. Alright. For this, I never be myself in this game. I always try to be somebody else. Damn, brother. <laughs> we'll go with this look. She looked like she looked like she got that type of a uh, uh, neon. Like she looked like she came from there. She doesn't look like she came from like UC Vanguard. She doesn't even look like UC Vanguard material. All right. We'll go with this. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't want her chunky, bro, because how is she going to run? We don't want her too too skinny either. We'll, we'll, we'll put it, like, right about here. You know what I'm saying? Got a little bit of muscles. Put it right about... Put it right about here, you know? Damn. Body tight, walk style. Let's see. We'll make the tone a little bit like this. We got, we got a little Hispanic. But like she came she came from neon got that little hispanic look okay now we're gonna change her tone i will keep it like that damn bro got so many rear size shape heads That'd be fine. Hairstyle. Let's see. We can change that. We don't want her to look like too crazy, but oh, what the hell? <laughs> we don't want her looking like that now. That look like ah. Hell no. <laughs> mm, too crazy, you know. I don't like that. It's all it's all up there and shit. Hell no. We're not gonna we're not gonna make this girl look like the killmonger. Hell no. Mm, this is nice. I like this one. This one looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Oh. 
Holy shit, what the fuck? She did she looked like she just woke out of bed. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Mm, this just doesn't look too bad. It really it, it kind of it kind of suits her right here. This is not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, it, it does look like it suits her a little bit. Alright. You know, this one too. I like this style. Ponytail. Eh. We're not gonna make it look like a fucking punk or some shit. Eh, I got some genetic alien shit. Damn, this is how you know she really woke out of bed. This ain't bad either. It's long, but it's not bad. Mm. Nah. She look like a lesbo on this one. With this cut, look like a lesbo. I like that 50, 50 something. That looked pretty good. Not this guy, this one. Go with this look. I'll take the red. Put it like this, cause she gonna, she gotta, kind of gotta get that look of, like, damn, bro, I've been through some shit. Could go with some classic brown, light brown, looks pretty good on her. We can do like a little cachet blue. Ah, right, we we'll go with this one. We we'll go with some blue eyes, red. But her eyebrows gotta. Go. I don't want her like I don't want the eyebrows to be too stylish, you know. We don't want it like that. We want her to look pretty stylish, but not so stylish. You get what I'm saying? We'll put it black, which is fine. We don't want her forehead to be flattened, you know? We'll just leave it at that. Nose? Her nose look pretty good. Not gonna lie. Nose look pretty good, but this one... This one looks pretty good, too. This look good. This look good too. It looks like an average nose. Back. 
Put it right about there. We'll leave that there. Tab it up a little bit. This a little bit small. Just a tab. That should be good. Ears, we don't know because we already got the big blood, so I don't care. Keep the face like this. Mouth. Damn, that looks good. I like that. Maybe just to tune it up a little bit. Right? Not too bad. Mm. See, I know how to make a character look good. Yeah, look good. Much better. Teeth, that's fine. Jaws is. You no, know, it's whatever. You know, you can't really see the jaws and stuff. Now, the chin. This one really goes, and I like this one. No, we don't want Chin to go like that. Chin tuck in a little bit. smaller chin looks pretty good that should be fine jewelry She grew up in the in the streets, so she grew up in neon, so she gotta she gotta look somewhat tough, you know what I'm saying? She gotta look somewhat tough. This is just bit of something a little bit not too much complex Looking like a Joker face or some shit. Right. Mm. 
want to make her look a little bit older, but not too old. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you, you want the scar to kind of come in a little bit. Like, she can start seeing those uh, restless nights on her face. She got that look of like, yo, I've been through some shit and I'm tired, bro. Like, you can see, you can see the pattern coming in. That's what I wanted to look like. I don't want no crazy ass tattoos, you know what I'm saying? Do that. Lipstick base. Oh. Get her on like that. That looks good. Put a little light to it, that's it. A little light. Yeah, put her put her with that purple. Uh I think it right there, that should be fine. No lipstick accent. Eyeshadows. Black. A little bit. Probably do her. Do her. Eyeliner. No dirt. She keep herself clean. There we go. That's much better. Okay, now we made our main main character that we're gonna be playing. All right. So basically, she is not a gangster. She's a cyber runner. Stealth, security, and a thief. Perfect. Traits are easy. She has some sympathy. And at the same time, she is wanted. But she's trapped in the streets of Neon. See? Got that shit right in order, right? She got some empathy here and there, right? You know? She's... She's a neon street rat, right? She been in, she been in the streets for a very long time. She's trying to get out of the streets. She's getting a bit older. She's getting a little tired of it, right? But she wanted it because probably her parents, you know, left her behind with a lot of debt. 
So she takes one step foot out of Neon, she's going to get killed. That's how I'm going to have her as my background story right there. She's lit. Now, name the player. Um... I don't know what to name her. Uh, I don't want to name her some fucking whack ass generic name like Tasha. Tasha. Let's see to name her. I don't want to name her some white kid's name either, like Kelly. Kelly. No Karen. Damn, it's really, you know, I can get a whole background of a character, but you can't. It's so hard to name a character, you feel me? <clears throat> Drinking some water. But it's so hard to name a character, bro. Like, <sighs> what should I name her? Damn, this is a hard one. Hmm. Kelsey, the uh, Sue White. Sucklin' Blue. <laughs> Sucklin' Blue. Maybe I should name her Sucklin' Blue. We'll just name her Trish. How about that? Or maybe maybe Tila. Maybe a different name. Oh, uh, what do you say about that, girly? Tila? Tila. 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 Tila Vensa. Tila Vente. Oh, maybe Tila Vente. She got that Tila vibe, you know what I'm saying? Tila Vente. A street rat. So we're gonna call her Tila Vente. Tila Vente. I don't know, should I even put that T? Should I call her Tila or Tila? Tila. I think that should be her name. Tila, Tila Vente. Tila Vente. A street rat in the cyberpunk. Well, street rat in Starfield universe. I would have named this character in, in Cyberpunk too. All right. That should be good enough. T love it. Alright. Here we go. Lights, camera, action, folks. It's time for my second life to begin. Hey. I'm glad I finally caught up with you. Sure. I'm from the Trackers Alliance. And we have a proposal. Oh, what proposal is that? I'm listening. Because what I'm about to tell you will change the course of your life. The Trackers Alliance has been following your exploits and believe you have what it takes to join our ranks. 
You're being invited to our new headquarters in Aquila City. There you'll meet with Agent Number One. If you decide to consider our offer, they'll guide you through our initiation process. Mm, that sounds like a very tempting and good offer, but... I'll consider it. I'll be heading out soon if there's nothing more. Remember, Trackers Alliance HQ in Aquila City. Speak to Agent Number One. Yeah, I got you. Hmm. Even so, I'm starting off with just a pistol and this. Before we start this, let's make sure the gameplay options is what I need to be. Weight ammo, carry weight, reduce. Cargo distance inside of the ship, vendor credits, reduce. Medical healing, slow. Food items, we'll just put normal. Sleep healing, limited locations. Positive and negative. Combat inflictions. Increase. Combat infliction and treatment improve only. Combat infliction. Events. Environmental damage. Normal. Damage restore. Limited resting. Resting. Aim assist. We want that off. Stock value is normal, date and time. Disable. Buy it, I Um, selling items is expensive. Cost of crafting normals, reduce speed 2%. And that should be fine. Alright, those are my difficulty options. Good. Got my display interface is good. I'll put this at 20 per 20 per 25 percent. Journey begin. There's no going back now. Not in this life. Alright, I'm gonna turn on my AC for a minute. If you hear some noises in the background, I do apologize, but it's getting hot in here. For me, at least. And let me go put my chair up. Before I really get myself comfy in this. Okay. Let's do this. Ah, <sighs> guess I'm back home. After taking in my dead parents' debt. Left with all this money. Probably might be wanted. Administrator Bayou's job. Now, shut up and start walking. 
Move it. Let's go. Damn. He doesn't even get a break. boards and everything else. Well, let's see how much we got first. Inventory. Damn, bro, we got 95 credits. The fuck, I gotta do with 95. Fuck. Damn, man. It's time for me to look for a job, bro. Hey. Sticks. How's this month? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. I'm asking for the sales report. Understood. Current data shows revenue has decreased 13.7%. Yeah. So business sucks. Tell me something I don't know, Sticks. Affirmative. The word nurdle refers to a blob of toothpaste placed on the bristles of a toothbrush. No, Sticks, I didn't mean to literally tell me. Ah, forget it. Good talk. <laughs> if you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. Just <laughs> keep your hands where I can see them. Look, man, look. I don't want no look, trouble. Then just buy what you want and get out of here. If you don't like it, talk to Sticks. He runs our, um, complaints. Department. <laughs> yeah, complaints department. <laughs> See now, you're just getting technophobic, and, and that's gonna hurt his feelings. <sighs> you know, <laughs> I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. Right. You'd do that? Yeah, I'll oh. do that. No okay. problem. Maybe I misjudged you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Fine. only here to get paid. It'll send a message. And that's all I care about. The lowlife that did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. <laughs> you can probably find him somewhere near Euphorica. Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the abside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the sticks. All right. Before I do that, credits. I've got what you need. Yeah, Bill. Before you do that, we're gonna have to settle some stuff. Damn, only got this much? Alright. <sighs> Sometimes sticks. I wonder how things would have been different if I took a different path. Let's go next door to the trade authority. Hey, buddy! This better not be a waste of my time. What do you think it's gonna be? It's a waste of your time? Yeah. Buying, selling, or moving. Look, I'm just here to buy, bro. Yeah? Well, then let me spell it out for you. You either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price. So, instead of wasting my time making me explain how the business world works, let's get a move on. Look, I'm just here to buy. Hey, I never said stole. You used that word, not me. Look, let's stop playing games. We both know what I'm talking about. Now, what'll it be? <laughs> yes, let's. Okay, first, it's time for me to sell my suit. I need some cash for it. This suit is raggedy as hell. 
This thing is garbage. And this helmet is trash. The only thing it's got is that. Oh, we got those. Mm. Let's see what you got. Because I'm going to need some bullets, that's for damn sure. Damn, you can only give me like this much? Fuck, yo. Damn, these bullets. <laughs> Fuck, man. These bullets are so goddamn expensive, dog. God damn. Killing me. 25 a piece? Fuck, man. Alright, whatever. When I get this job done, I'll make that money back. Alright, what's up? Busy. Yeah, we're busy. Yeah, we're busy. We're not going to the damn Trappers Alliance. And we're not gonna go to the Ryujin industry because we ain't got no motherfucking money. We need to build up our street cred. Shit, if I came here, I'm gonna have to look for me a little jobs and stuff. Hopefully, I can just kill these guys quick. Okay. Let's settle this once and for this all. Is crazy. Is for Chimera. Good. You kidding? Chimera all day. Why do you think I'm here? All right. Down for the count, baby. Let me take your shit. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. What the fuck? Oh shit! Ten thousand credits. Warlord credit. Oh man! Thank you for that paper, dog. Appreciate it. Chimera's nice, but Little City, that will get you hammered. I like coming here. See, you just proved my point. It lets me Down your third velocity, and bit. you're out cold. By the third Chimera, you're All floating right. on freaking cloud nine. Hey, uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologize for coming in here, but I had to do a job. Where the hell did Micah learn to mix a drink like that anyway? Wow. Well, let's face it, some people are just gifted. Really? Y'all still talking and I'm I just kill Alright, whatever. I'm just I'm just letting you know, ladies and gentlemen, I just had to do a job, alright? I didn't mean to come in here to fuck y'all day up. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I know this place thinks. I don't know why the mods is not working in this one. Probably the mods are not even activated. Probably gonna have to save and reload the game again. So then that way the mods will work. I don't think they're just working. Okay. Oh, I did that favor for you, buddy. What can I get you? Good work. I hope you made him squirm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, I did. Fine by me. That delinquent little punk deserves it. Yeah. Thanks. Sticks is going to get a new paint job, a coat of wax, the works. He's going to look brand new. Oh, and here. For your trouble. Appreciate it. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. I get what you're saying. You just want to forget. One's got nothing to do with it. Let me just sit here for a minute. Please. 
I don't know if that's going to reset the mods or do I have to I'm sorry for I think I'm gonna have to reset the game. Alright, hold on one minute. <clears throat> this ain't gonna take that long. I'm just gonna rerun the game again. Just wanna see if the mods will turn back on. Hopefully that will work. Yep, my bad, you guys. I gotta keep you guys in the dark and stuff but I think that's what I'm going to have to do because the mod says it's like on it's checked off and then you go into the game it's not even on All right, so now it should able to work. So. If that doesn't work, then I'm probably gonna have to disable the mods, load it in there and then enable the mods. I'm sorry. One way to see... Okay, there we go. See? Now the mods work because... Now I got all of the stars and stuff. And I can do by color code it. Alright, so now... Now it's working. No one understands you, stupid piece of tin. Relax! Damn. Alright, so we got some money. Let's see if we can find a bar somewhere. Shit, we're on the wrong side. It's not on this side, it's on the other opposite this. side. Mixed up with the gangs. I don't know if you've heard, but my sister started her own homestead. Say we could look for some work at the bar or something. I have some sleep crate units available for rent, but someone like you, trust me, you can do better. Yeah, you got that right.
Security's got its eyes on Saburo Akadigbo. That guy's trouble for the status quo, if you know what I mean. Interesting. I spend way too much time inside. I think I should pick up a hobby. It's outdoors. Enjoy some unique company. And toss back one of our exclusive Velocity cocktails. Alright, let's go in here and see what's up. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? You want the stuff or not? I'm still interested in you're asking almost the boat to go in, right? What? Stuff falls from the sky? No customer. Bienvenue. Before you order, I have two simple rules you need to know. Oh, this is my place. That means everyone in here is under my protection. You don't mess with them, they don't mess with you. If you're buying drinks, you better have cash. Madame Sauvage does not offer credit. Good. Ça c'est bon? Okay, yeah, understood. Finally, someone who listens and does what they're told. A rare commodity in Epsi. I like you already. <laughs> so, what can Madame Sauvage get you? That's you cute. Do you velocity, perhaps? Or do you prefer something with a little less kick? Uh... Do you want information? Go read a book. You want a drink? Talk to Madame Sauvage. That's how things work in my place. Yeah. We'll see you again soon, yes? What are you looking at? This? This is Ebside Striker's turf. Only the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory, got it? Uh, I feel like more like... It's in the warning. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, you would never... Ugh. Yeah, you used to be people were afraid of the strikers. We had a name, got it? Mm -hmm. Now the disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea. Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else, or are we done with this? Whatever this is. Well, since you talking about, ooh, the strikers, then let me go meet your boss. We were one of the big dogs. We could take what we wanted and no one gave us shit. And Briggs? Total class act. Not a psycho like the Disciples. Now look at us. I mean, the Strikers will rob you blind and if you back us in a corner, you're gonna bleed. But the Disciples? Psh, total nutjob animals. They torture people for kicks. And the only people that kept them from getting out of control? Us. And now we're all but ruined. So you stroll in here and want to meet with Briggs? The nerve. Maybe you should meet with the business end of my shiv, huh, tourist? No blood in my shop, Andrea. I am this close to tossing the lot of you out on the street. Fine, fine already. You're lucky. Only way you see Briggs is if you, uh, <laughs> want to join the upside strikers. You know, I'll just do that. Right now. <sighs> this ought to be good. Sure, let's go meet the boss. Yeah, right this Lead the way. Hello? Captain, stick up your ass. She literally got a whole damn stick up her ass. And she know and she probably didn't notice that I'm wearing the same fucking outfit. Bitch. Bitch hasn't even noticed I'm wearing the same outfit. Who's this? Someone says they might want to join. Yeah. A recruit. Been a while. I know, right? Oh, well, I need some cash. That's what I need. We shouldn't be doing that anyhow. You want to join us? We're a gang. You understand that, right? Not yeah. some daring adventure bullshit you can brag to your friends about. 
We steal, we mug, we kill if we have to. People that come to us have usually run out of options. So are you really interested? Um, I'm interested, don't worry. I'd be screwed. Not necessary. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Never judge a book by its cover, then. Let me tell you about us. What makes the Strikers different is we're family. It's us against every goddamn thing the world can throw at us. If you're in, we'll go through hell and back for you. It's been a little okay. too much of that hell going round. Vogel, not the time. We do everything we can to make sure everyone's got a roof overhead and fish in their belly. I prefer we fleece the marks, not kill them. Better for everyone in the long run. Mm -hmm. But you do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Sign Not me so up. fast. I gotta get to know you first. What would what? you bring to the Strikers? And you managed to claw your way out. Yeah. That's a hell of a thing. Done anything special? Something that might impress us. Right. So you're one of those stargazers. <laughs> sure. They visit here all the time. Oh, God. I'm not sure what your game is, but if you really want to join, there's a test. You're going the test? against the disciples. Everyone in Ebside's oh. been chewed up and ground up. But That's fine with me. Some people snap and snap hard. The disciples are maniacs, pure and simple. The test is to find out who has been arming those nutjobs with military-grade hardware. We're fully in alignment there. There's a warehouse they use. One of our friends said there's a slate there that has the info we need. Oh, that's my job. I was going to go in and make them pay. You want it? Too bad, Vogel. You go in there, and it's a bloodbath. I want someone that can snatch it from them. Ideally with them never even knowing it happened. Consider this your audition. Try not to get killed, new fish. Ah, uh, fine by me. Shit. I'm just gonna do it with a nice, good, clean little knife. Chop them up. All right. Since we got this little audition, might as well just do this little song and dance. Alright. I'll give you an audition. Cause I'm just gonna kill him and steal the damn sleep. I told you. Look at this place. Ridiculous, right? Why would someone open a mining? Wait, why am I here? Oh, took me to the wrong spot. Supplies business on an ocean planet. I'll probably come back and talk to him and see if I can make some money.
someone here who shouldn't be. Get some angles on them! Damn it! Selling your shit. Stealing your damn slate, I don't care. Your damn shit. Easy peasy. I honestly do not like this fucking weapon, but hey, it does the job what it needs to do. Oh, wait. Take his thing. Right. I'm gonna sneak in there and be like, oh, yeah, this is. Okay, right there on the spot. Done and done. Increase my health a little bit. Let me go sell this, heal myself. I should be set. Clover over at Kelcorp? She's too good for me. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. From the trade authorities. We need to move some merch. This is the place. Hey, what the hell? Yeah, what? Always happy to take your money. Oh, I bet you are happy. Well, today I got something. I got some something to sell. Laundry magazine. Keeping the pistol. Mm. I saw this one. I'm not with that. I'll keep this one because it has an extra large magazine. So I saw these two. I'll keep this one. Selling this one. Probably gonna have to hold on to this. That ass. Let's get rid of the despiteful shit and garbage shit. At least I got extra med packs. If you, uh, find anything else? Now, let's go organize our weapons. Pistol, here. First. Rifle will go down here. Submachine gun goes in the middle. Knife goes in here. And an extra little weapon just in case if we need to. That goes right here. Streetwear goes on top. Make sure you bring it to me. Let's go to the medical stuff first and heal. And then I'll go buy some bullets. So I need some. I need some 343 MI. 
Let me some of that. Got plenty of that. So we're gonna need submachine gun bullets and that. Hey there. Got the shakes, huh? Don't worry. Doc Manning will fix you up. Is it that obvious? You're looking a bit worse for wear. Yeah. Can I help? I haven't zoned in like a week. Oh my goodness. Oh, Another God. poor soul. Crumbling. All right. Yeah. Tell me what happened to you. Is it an Aurora overdose? Something else, perhaps? The Doc. He isn't gonna, you know... That's a very wise choice. Mm. Since you're clearly a first-time visitor to Reliant Neon, I'd love to offer you a free checkup, but I'm afraid I'm dangerously low on supplies. If it worked for you, I hope it works for me. I'm sick of feeling this way. I can assure you it isn't by choice. You see, I'm a bit at odds with the current administrator of Neon. His drug is turning the streets into a graveyard, and he doesn't seem to care. We've argued about it on more than one occasion, and all he's done is try to persuade me to quit. Thinning out my supply chain is his newest tactic. That's fucking crazy. There is, actually. But it requires... outside assistance. At this point, I've resorted to asking anyone that has a ship registered outside of the Voli system to bring me medical supplies. I pay them for the supplies, of course, but it's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. Now, if there's anything else I can do for you, anything at all, you just let me know. Let's take a look. Not so bad, really. Let's get you patched up. There. Good as new. More or less. Yeah, okay. So you're an empath. Very few people have this gift, or curse, depending on how you look at it. There have been some clinical trials on a regiment that can suppress this talent, permanently. It's perfectly safe, assuming you're interested. Uh, I'll think Take all the time you need. It's a big decision. <sighs> all right. Might have to help him out with that too. Damn, Leon is fucked up. It's time to buy some bullets. I don't need that. Wait, since we're buying some bullets, might as well go over here. Might get a little discount. Yeah? What do you want? Help yourself. I need some of this. Not a lot, but at least give me at least 50 bullets of that. That is 7 mm's. 7, 7, 7, 7 mm's. Uh, put 110 on that. Alright, get out of here. The other day, sticks. Let's go get some coffee. For your business. Let's see if we can eat something now. Six 
shots of this. 50 shots of that. Alright, let's get our little payday and then we can do the next job. It was easy peasy. There's no shame if you just walk away and go back to your pretty little life. So, stealth was a no-go. No. -go. no. <laughs> Shit. You took all of them out. The strikers can use that. So you're in. Everyone thinks the Ebside strikers are out for the count. But now that we know where the disciples are getting their guns, I feel the tide is turning. Trying to score points with the boss. <laughs> Smart play, new fish. You might want to say hello to the rest of the gang. They should be friendlier, or I'll make them friendlier. Ah. After you take some deserved R and R, hit a hatchet for any gear you may need, and a job I got in mind for you. Hmm. Huh. So you survived. Andrea thought Briggs wanted you dead, so he sent you away. Andrea was wrong. We are more alike than I thought. Everyone is hard because they have to be. These streets and alleys are all I know. They chew up the weak, they leave them broken or dead in the gutters. So don't be weak. <laughs> oh, you are focused. Yeah. Good. I ain't got time for no bullshit. So the job is I'm broke. That the streets know the strikers are back. We have signs. Signs that indicate our turf. Hacking the signs is easy. Getting to them or fighting any disciples there, that is the challenge. Briggs said he prefers no blood. But I say make the disciples bleed at every chance. Good. If you need things too, I can hook you up. It's my job to make sure all the strikers have what they need. Good luck. All right, what you got? A lot of the signs are high up. Of course. What you got for me? I need some new shiny toys. Oh, man. If only I had some money for this. Woo! This would have been my gun, baby. Oh, a silencer, too. Oh shit! God damn, you got this motherfucking blade. Damn, bro, I need to use this motherfucker. Cut me up some motherfucker. Do some keto chops. I swear. Yep, all the expensive ones is at the top. This wouldn't be a bad weapon at all. And it has a sight on that shit, too. Ooh, semi? Modified? That sounds about good right there. I'll give you this, and then I'll sell you this. I'll sell you this one right here. I'll sell you. I'll sell you this one right here. And I'll sell you this one. For that. Well, worth it. Hmm. Definitely king. Well, how much?
take three of those. Plus, I'm gonna need to switch up some threads a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Can't just walk around with a coat. You look like some scary ass person. Also take one of these hustler outfits. And as I buy a little bit more bullets. Twenty-five more to be exact. And we might as well get some six six ones. That should be good enough. Stay safe. Oh, I will. Oh, yes, I will. I will most certainly stay safe. This gun right here. Shit. Good. Shit is going good. Maybe you'd like to try a velocity? No. Anyway. Time to get going. I'll be back. Time to fuck these fucking disciples. Plus, these disciples look fucking weird as hell, bro. All this crazy ass graffiti. I think they took too many fucking Aurora. Let's go this way. Don't want to end up in conflict if I don't have to. Let's make this quick. Might as well take that too. Sell it later. Oh. Holy shit. I'm bleeding.
I'm fucking bleeding. We're gonna have to go get ourselves healed. Before we continue. If I don't stop the bleeding, it's just gonna get worse. James Newell better watch his back. He's causing problems. If it's no too hard to handle, now we're getting somewhere. Alright. some medical help what can reliant medical yeah come look at me fuck all right i'm Best bleeding honestly i'm surprised you're walking around like this yeah i'm fucking bleeding with holes doctor take care of it all nothing a little needle and thread can't fix i won't lie you're gonna feel this but try your best to sit still that's fine with me. Ship shape and ready. If you need help, remember real life. Ever run into spacers? Apply today at the nearest. Really exciting things with horrors. So, uh... Time to run. Too slow.
try to see if he's still following me. Ah, uh, what do we have here? Damn it! to drop by on Neon and do a little vandalism, huh? There's a steep fine for that. Zero tolerant. Tell you what. Um. Thank you, yo. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You got me running up and down this shit. Somewhere up there. Damn, I should have just kept on running. Damn it, I sprained my fucking ankle. Ah! <laughs> All right, I heard about that. They showed it off at the expo, right? Yeah, I saw the trailer. I want another spot right over here. And now I gotta take care of my spray ankle. Striker. Striker team! <laughs> Alright, let me go get myself healed. Here. Hey, boss. A bit worse for wear. I just need, uh, yo, can you just fix it like a spray, spray yeah, ankle, bro? That's, we should fix all that. I'm sorry. Actually, hold on. I trust you. Mm. Try not to get hurt out there. That will just heal me up for right now, but hey, fuck it. It's better than nothing. I 
Alright, guess what, people? I'm back. I'm good. I'm in one piece. Well, really well. Mm. You've really kicked the hornet's nest. Good. Andrea's running point on grabbing the gun stash. I need you and Vogel to keep the disciples off balance. So we're finally doing this? It's time, Vogel. The gloves are off. Both oh, it's about time. Collateral damage down if you can. But it's do or die. <sighs> like the attitude, but don't give Neon Security any reasons to go after us, okay? You two coordinate whatever you need to. I have a request. I know this is asking a lot. Newell's Goods has some armor. Not mail-spec ranger gear or anything, but better than the cast-off clothes the strikers wear. So if you could, well, spring for some armor upgrades, maybe convince Newell to sell it to us? Mm, I'll see what I can do. strikers owe you big time. Any credits it costs, I promise we'll pay you back with interest. Now's the time for the strikers to make a comeback. Dreaming of this. Hmm. I hope you're gonna have to get some more money. It's gonna be a problem. Cause he want like eight thousand creds. I know that for sure. Cause Three thousand ain't gonna be enough, especially not in no damn neon. Probably want like ten grand, ten k or some shit. We're gonna have to do a little bit of a side jobs and stuff just so we can see what we can do. See some side activities, maybe it might lead to something. The shortage is over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the place shuts down. I know, he just told me about his problems. This shit is crazy. I think this one will be interesting. Something I can do for you, love. Again. Look, you can tell Mr. Okaribo that I'm doing everything I can. Blood from a stone, if you'll pardon the expression. Oh. oh I'm afraid yeah. I stepped right into it again. Damn. You aren't here about Mr. Okaribo's debt to Kelcor. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Let me start over. My name's Clover McKenna, but you can call me Chloe. Sorry for me outburst. <sighs> yeah, maybe you should have, for my yeah. sake. This mess with Mr. Okadibo over at the Neon Mining League has really thrown me off my game. If only you knew. Mr. Okadibo owes a substantial debt to Keltkor. I've given him more than enough time to try and come up with the money, but my father's patience has running out. Frankly, I don't know how much longer I can stall.
We're a tech company that primarily specializes in mining operations. We handle everything from individual standalone units to fully engineered outpost systems. Basically, if it's made of rock, our gear chews it. Might not be as glamorous as some of the other corps in this building, but it pays the bills. Okay. Would you mind telling more about Nine? your father? Oh, he's the CEO of Kelp Corp. The whole blessed thing. If you asked him, he'd claim he started the company with next to nothing and built it into a mega corp in under 30 years. Truth is, he tends to forget the multi-million credit trust he tapped into as a crutch. But that's my father for you. For now, but let's not mistake my position for what it really is. A test set up by my father. He's set to retire in a few years, and I'm his only next of kin. But I'm guessing he's not sure if I'm ready to take over the company. So he shuttles me out here for two reasons. One, to flash a friendly face for our clients he flies out here as a perk. And two, gets his firebrand of a daughter as far away from him as possible. He's a real piece of work. Maybe You'd be willing to help out. That's awfully kind of you. No, you've got it all wrong. Saburo, uh, I mean, Mr. Okadigo, he's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, especially in this city. He really needs help, but he's too proud to accept any money from me. Maybe he'd listen to someone like you? That's fine. I had a feeling I was pushing too much. But before you go, let me just tempt you with this. If you can get his debt off my conscience, I'd be grateful. It's been on my mind so much I've been keeping a diary. And don't worry about payment. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. McKenna always keeps that promise. Have a fine day. Mm. Interesting. What do you want to do for the break later? I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. It's been non-stop interruptions since this morning, and I'm not spending another break at my desk listening to Cody eat with his mouth open. Hmm. One of those days, huh? More like one of those. I have to admit, this business in Sakura is keeping me with it. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to Terrabru right now. Yeah? I'll go with you. We can pick up an extra for Chloe if she asks. Question is, where the fuck is he at anyway?
Hopefully I don't have to travel to another planet because I ain't got no suit. I need money. I need to work around here a little bit. If you're wondering what that smell is, it's... Don't go causing trouble. Sleep with us. All right, let's see. Here to purchase some mining goods? Welcome, welcome, my friend. The first time I... You see, when I opened this shop, I had grand ambitions of creating a mining supply empire on Volai. Yet here I am, only a few years later, pocket oh, empty, great. and my business on the verge of closure. It is wow. a sad day. Wow. Well, definitely talking like Simba. Um... That would be a blessing, my friend. Oh, she did. Miss Makina is very kind, but I cannot accept. It is my responsibility to pay the loan. If I cannot, then what happens, happens. Really? Let me take a look. Oh, I did not know she felt this way. She is always so professional. I thought she did not like me. That is why I have sent proxies to negotiate my debt. And I like her. Oh, that came out wrong. What I meant to say was, I respect her business acumen. <laughs> Look at me. My palms are sweating. Regardless, you have done me a service, and for that, I thank you. You can tell Miss McKenna, I mean Chloe, that I accept her offer. Farewell, my friend. And tell everyone we have plenty of mining, mining supplies and stock. But I'm gonna need a discount. I'm sorry, my friend, but prices are set in Yeah. We got, like, fucking Simba. <laughs> Oh my god. If he's not in the universe of Black Myth Wukong, I don't know what else will. He's in the universe of, like, Black Panther. He's definitely in that shit. We'll see him in Black Panther 3 movie. We'll definitely see him there for sure. Scram, I'm on duty. Shit, I'm not even bothering you. Fuck you, bitch. Bitch! <sighs> Alright. Let's go tell her right now. Why, hello. If you're What's with the long today, face? We only sell direct to retailers. That's fantastic! I was worried he'd take it the wrong way, so I'm glad you were able to convince him. I'll arrange for the funds to be transferred immediately. Hopefully Father will forgive the late fees. And if he doesn't, I can always reimburse them when he retires. In any case, thank you. And here, for your efforts. Thank you. Got that little bit of chunk change. Appreciate it. Man, all I had to do was do a little talk and that's it. And... Done is done, man. God, man, that shit is a rat. <laughs> Got it done, man. A little talking, a little walking. That's it. That's it. All right.
Wait, we still got more? Wait. Let's go to James Well. Let's talk to that. keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder. Yeah, right. Hysterical old broad. I'll take a look at that too. one of the missions we have to deal with. Let's start to this one, the murder case. Maybe it might lead to some money or something. I don't know. Fuck it, we'll see what we can do. Oh, shit! Damn, bro, we still running? Nobody ain't shooting no more, bro. One quiet day. That's too much to ask for. It would be nice if it would stop raining. Hello. I'm sorry if I sound rude, but would you mind coming back later? We're actually closed right now. I just forget to pull down the shutters. Oh, you're so kind. I really appreciate what you're trying to do, but I don't feel strong enough to talk about it right now. Perhaps another time, when I'm feeling up to it. Yes, I suppose keeping it bottled up inside isn't the best idea, now is it? The thing is, well... I lost my husband, Thomas, last week. He... he supposedly had a heart attack and fell from the upper platform. Of course, that's the official word from Neon Security. I'm not so sure they're telling me the truth. No, they certainly aren't. How that security officer could stand there and tell me Thomas died of a heart attack. Well, it's a damn lie is what it is. I, I'm, I'm sorry, this is my problem. You're just here to shop, and here I am filling your head with my conspiracy theories. Please forgive me. Oh my. You're the first person in this awful, awful city that's reached out to help me. Thank you. Of course. The truth is all I've ever wanted. 
I suppose the proper place to start would be with Neon Security's witness, Tevin Anastas, that pompous ass over at the Emporium in Neon. Just please be very careful. I don't want to end up with two murders on my conscience. Kevin owns the Emporium over in Bayou Plaza. He's a horribly overbearing, pretentious man who wouldn't dare set foot in the underbelly. The strange thing is, we've never had to deal with him in person. Why he'd be involved in Thomas's death is absolutely beyond me. Be careful. Neon is a dangerous place. I will, Grandma. Don't worry, I'm gonna figure this shit out. Let's see if we can find we this culprit. Nobody shooting you, dumbass. If I have to eat fish for dinner, Why did you drag me in here? You said you wanted to buy something nice for your girlfriend, so here we are. Do you think I've suddenly inherited a fortune? This place is way out of my price range. Hey, you're the one that told me she has expensive tastes. <laughs> there's expensive, and then there's the Emporium. This place is in a class all by itself. Yeah, I guess. Take a look around. If you find something, I'll help you out, okay? Welcome to the Emporium. <sighs> Are you sure you're in the right place? You certainly don't look like one of our usual clientele. Yes, you're right. Of course. Of course. My apologies. Please forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few, shall we say, thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. In fact, there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goons. My education on Jemison consisted entirely of academics and poetry, so it's unlikely I'd be successful in that regard. Anyway, I've already taken up too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. Mm. Mm, probably not. Seoka tend to hang out in small groups. Good for them, but for us. Anyway, that's really all I know. Head back here when you've taken care of the situation. Good luck. Come back soon. You never know what we'll have for sale.
Yeah, but I'm gonna need some fucking answers. I'm just doing this for a paycheck. I'll take care of your little your little thugs, you know what I'm saying? I'll take care of your little thugs that you're talking about. But then when I come back, you better have some answers for me. If you think about it, if a neural amp helps you get a better job, it basically pays for itself. Seems like this is the place. Bet I have credits to spend. When it comes to you lost, kiddo. Do I look like I'm fucking lost? Last time I checked, I was an adult. Ah, just something I call everyone. Nothing to get worked up over. I had some high hopes for this shop back when my husband and I opened it a while back. These days, if you ain't a regular, you're usually trouble. Or something happened. Ain't that always the case? Let's just say those hopes died a long time ago, and there ain't no reviving them. Mm -hmm. What do you sell here? Snacks, drinks, odds and ends. Typical convenience store fare. Thought we'd snag a few of the Astro Lounge club goers who might want something to go on their way home. Turns out we were more appealing to the local gangs. Sounds like we understand each other then. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Never heard of them. Now, are you going to buy something or just annoy me all day? <sighs> this city will be the death of me. Yeah, I know Headlock can't stand them. And I heard some of the other Sioka can't either. That boy doesn't know how to keep himself out of trouble. What'd he do this time? Hmm. Well, if any place should be terrorized, it may as well be the Emporium. In any case, if you're so desperate to find him, he and his friends are probably hanging out in Warehouse 4 or somewhere near there. I gotta ask, what are you gonna do with them? You're right, and you're standing in mine. You better watch your tone. I've got nothing more to say to you. You have your info, so either beat it or buy something. See you around. Mm -hmm. I'll be seeing you around, all right. I just don't like how Stroud Eklund owns everything. It's getting into Beach. All right. Huh? It's 
time to see if we can um, a ghost you. Have a little bit of negotiation because if things is about to turn messy, it's about to get real violent. Got my nice little submachine gun ready to go. Let's see. Ah, oh, moment of truth. Lady, you don't even have no business to be even be here. Uh-uh, where are you going, you son of a bitch? Who the hell are you? And who do we have here? You here for business, or to get your head caved in? Mm. Is that so? I'm not just some low-life thug anymore. I'm with the Sioka now. You mess with me, you'll mess with the whole syndicate, and that won't end well for you. Oh yeah? Those are big words coming from a nobody. So go on, Hotshot. Give me a reason why I should leave Tevin and his shitty little store alone. You little shit fuck. Got your little friends over here, you little goons. Last mistake you'll ever make. What? Come on. You picked the wrong fight. It's just time. Time to go night night. Poor bastard. I told you. Should have just left them alone. Okay, time to take all of your shit. Might as well take your fancy clothes too while you're at it. Sell at the fresh market. That too. Syndicate may not be happy with me, but fuck it. Just gotta do what I gotta do. Need some food while I'm at it. Uh, 
Thanks for the meal, kiddo. I'm all, I'll be off now. Van Varyash. <laughs> See, we can get ourselves fixed up. What can Reliant Medical do for you? Yes, you know what you could do for me. A bit worse for wear. Can I help? All right. You're lucky I know what I'm doing, because you're a real mess. Yeah. I know. You're gonna do all of it. Have a job, really. I've seen worse. Not very often, though. Hold on to something. Might be a little scar tissue. But that just adds character. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's take a look. I see nothing here. Mm. I'm see sure some, I have some. See some supplies that you got there, Doc. I'm gonna have to carry a few band aids. That's what I tell you. I'll tell you that fucking much. I'm gonna need band aids. I'm gonna definitely need some neck kits. Take it through the hours. Stay away from Aurora before you get hooked. Shit, you know me, Doc. I ain't fucking with no drugs. Word is Dee Borealis, you know? DJ? Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. First, I'm gonna need some answers from him. If it's too hot to handle, then here at the. Okay. First, I'll sell you something. You know what? I'll give you this. No, I'm keeping that. Sell you this. Keeping this, keeping one of those. Keep that. Keeping this one. Look good on me, you know. You got them. All right. Since what we got for bullets, we're gonna need. We can sell these because we're not even. We don't even have more sevens. I'll probably get a little bit more of those and a bit of that. So we'll just get some of that. If he got him, it seems like he doesn't. We do got these right here. Get a hundred of those. All right. Cork, glad you killed Warlord. I just wish I was there to see it. You're in love. Oh. Yes, you got the stuff that I need. I'm just gonna take 40 of these. That should be it. Good for you. You ever get nightmare sticks about the war? 
lives. Be careful if you want to All right, now I took care of his little bullshit. Got me that little extra cash. And I'm gonna get me that paycheck, but he's gonna definitely give me some motherfucking answers. Because I'm gonna need some answers. Not bullshit either. Put my syndicate suit on, huh? Scared him out. But... We sell only the finest goods for the discerning customer. Oh my. Now that is a true relief. I thought I would never be rid of him. I'm not one to get involved with the rabble. So I'm glad you came along when you did. Thank you for your help. I'm not telling you a thing. I've already reported what I saw to security. Stop wasting my time and leave. Your presence is bad for business. Oh, my presence is bad for business? <sighs> Are there any civilized souls in this damn city? Fine, I'll tell you what I know. But let's try to make this quick, hmm? <sighs> I saw it happen. Thomas was murdered and thrown into the ocean. Afterwards, I foolishly reported the incident to security. For my efforts, I was rewarded with a gun to my head and threatened with death if I didn't keep silent. Hmm. Okay. Uh... No. The officer that threatened me was completely different. And the murderer wasn't wearing a uniform. I'd wager that the murdering bastard has a friend in security that's covering things up for him. It was hard to hear over the commotion, but I'm sure I heard Thomas call his attacker Russell and Rusty a few times. From what I could gather, the attacker was after credits and Thomas refused to give him any. After that, well... Thomas went for a swim. Where else would someone like him be, hmm? He stays at the sleep crates near Madame Sauvage's place. In any case, when you confront him, my name cannot be mentioned. I very much dislike sharing Thomas's briny fate. And with that, I must insist you leave me in peace. That is, of course, Unless you'd like to make a hefty purchase. Alright. Fine. Thank you for your cooperation. Because after what I did with your fucking bullshit. Fucking disrespecting me like that. Bro, you luckily I didn't put a gun in your head. It's okay, your little fucking bullshit little friends. Let's see, now I guess we're gonna have to follow the trail. Keep my pistol to the side. Probably gonna need it real soon. Hey, buddy, why don't you throw a few credits my way, huh? Help a guy out, yeah? End up in the ocean? What the hell are you... Wait, no, no, no. He, he told me that everything was taken care of. No one would know. Listen, you gotta hear me out. I never meant to do anything. It was an accident. Why else? I needed some creds for Aurora, and everyone knows he and his wife run that shitty little shop. All they do is rip people off. He was bound to have creds. I 
I got in a fight with Thomas. I asked him for some creds, but the bastard wouldn't give me anything. Things got out of hand. He ended up falling off the upper platform. It was an accident, I swear. But then I... I called my buddy in security and told him what happened. He took care of everything after that. That's possible. Wait a minute. Hold on. Because he said that the security put a gun to his head. Hell no, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a rat. Listen, I messed up. I know that. But nothing can change what's already done. Just let me go and I'll disappear forever. No one will ever see me again. No one even needs to know I'm alive. Just come on. Just let me go. Ah, <sighs> really? Asking for crabs for Aurora just for a little measly drugs, huh? And now you're gonna tell? Now you're gonna do the same thing for me? Really? No, I. I can't let that happen. Why couldn't you just let me go? Not gonna let you go this time, buddy. Told you, man. Life always has consequences. Ah, <sighs> feels better. But I can't drag him. What? Enjoy some unique company and toss back one of our exclusive velocity. Ain't gonna let you go that easily. Let's just say I took care of him, Ma. Uh, oh, yeah. Can I get you anything? Why bother? They want to Please, tell me everything you know. I want to hear it all. I knew it. I just knew that I was being fed lies. Nothing added up right from the start. <sighs> Neon security. How can they sleep at night and act like my husband's life wasn't worth anything? My husband's killer. Did you find him? What happened to him? Rusty. I believe he was one of the Jennerdine workers that would come around and cause trouble. Steal things, vandalize, or the like. They were a rowdy bunch. My husband usually handled the troublemakers and became well acquainted with Rusty and his so-called friends. Vandalism and shoplifting is one thing, but murder? I just never thought things could go this far. So, what did you do with Rusty? Good. And good riddance to him, too. An eye for an eye and all that. I'm not the type to wish death upon anyone, but he deserved worse for what he did to my Thomas. And about security. Did you find out which officer is behind the cover-up?
Yes, you're right. It just boils my blood thinking about what they did. But I must say that I feel oddly vindicated just by knowing the truth. The uncertainty was constantly eating away at me. At least I can take solace knowing that justice was served, at least to some degree. I never would have figured out the truth without you. I have credits for you here. Of course, I want to thank you for everything. You're the only person to show me kindness in this city. You've helped me out more than you can know. Now that I know the truth, I think I can start focusing on healing. Or trying to, at least. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. No problem. It's always my pleasure to work out. You say good now. Ah, job well done. Mission accomplished. A bullet to the head. And that's it. I definitely should end it here. Till the next playthrough. Look, it's over. I already put a bullet in him. It was like, run away! Oh. Alright. I find a good spot to save at. Might as well sit right here, chill out. All right, I'm going to save it right here. All right, that is it for me. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, and um, stay tuned for more of the Starfield Let's Play videos. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.